Our journey with ARM actually started um, back in 2012, 2013, when we started to look at ways of improving performance um, across EC2 by offloading a lot of the functionality that we traditionally ran on the underlying server to actually an ARM chip running on an offload card. And so since 2012, we've been moving more and more of our system uh, system processing off to this offload card. Last year in 2019, we actually launched Graviton 2, um, which is our new ARM chip and just providing incredible performance for our customers. And so from a price performance point of view, um, the ARM processor there is actually providing 40% benefit um, over other instance types uh, of the equivalent family um, within AWS today. So at Honeycomb, we started adopting Graviton 2 about eight or nine months ago. And we started uh, really pushing Graviton2 out to all of our customers within the past three to four months. And it's definitely been worth it from a perspective because we see over 20%, 30% performance gains per machine, and each machine is 20% less in cost. And that enables us to both deliver innovative features for our customers, and as well as keeping the cost of our service low. It was remarkably easy. Um, so Graviton 1, we started to move a couple of big workloads to it um, right at launch, I guess maybe a, a few weeks or months before launch, um, like two years ago. And, uh, and it took us about two weeks to get that first sort of large production workload up and running. Um, and it was mostly just kind of an ecosystem thing. We thought it would take a lot longer because we didn't we didn't think we could find you know, a Linux distribution with all the packages and all of that sort of stuff that we thought we would need to, to run our applications. Um, it turned out that most of that just worked. When Graviton 2 came around a few months back, um, that was a one day switch for us. All of our existing Graviton 1 workloads were just one day, we put them in dev, we put them in test and rolled them to production and it was really that fast. The ecosystem's there. And so, you know, in most of my conversations with customers, um, it's there's an expectation that it's going to be a lot more difficult than it actually is. And so my advice to them is very often, take one or two engineers and go and tell them to build, you know, build this application for ARM. Go and take the Linux distro that's been compiled for ARM. Go and take your application and just see what happens. One of the things I'm super excited about is um, AWS has continued to kind of roll out additional instance classes based on Graviton 2, right? They came out with sort of one class, but now there are many classes and they are, um, you know, going down that same road where now you can start to mix and match your, your um, memory and your, your storage and things. So I'm really excited to see more of that. The thing that I'm really excited about is that Graviton 2 is, Amazon's not necessarily saying this, but you know, it's better price per compute, and that's also uh, watts per compute, right? So I think that all of us have to be really, really conscious of our carbon impact. And for me, part of what motivated me to explore Graviton 2 was the desire not just to save money, but to do better by the environment and to really empower people to do innovative things without hurting the planet quite as much. You know, it, it's not very often that a piece of technology comes around um, that that you're using at scale and you can just cut 40% of the cost right out of it. Like, no negotiation, no contract, no commit, no term. Like, you just recompile and you're saving 40%. Like, it just doesn't happen. I, I can't remember the last time it's happened. I definitely echo that too. Um, what I definitely say is if you can give your startup that extra month of runway, or if you can deliver that breakout feature that's only possible because you're able to get compute that's twice as cheap as anywhere else, like you'd better do it because that's the health of your business at stake.